Ballin' with. Hey, season October 19th, it is finally here, guys. Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. The NBA season is back, guys. Um, I'm excited. You see what I'm repping this season, Mr. Westbrook, rock a baby, my boy. Man, I'm so cra- I'm just so mad they the Washington Wizards traded him. Our, that was mm, so many news, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. We got way more videos coming out. Um, we did uh, me and John and did a NBA recap video and our season predictions already. Um, this season will be crazy. I got a few fantasy leagues. We're gonna be all in NFL, NBA, maybe MLB next season, maybe NHL. But we're just getting back into the um, you know the groove of things this season and just trying to start from scratch and work our way up into those points but um guys welcome i'm gonna get right into these sports bets uh just did a video for the nfl then we're gonna get right into the nba picks i will do uh probably today and i will do tomorrow i know we got games all week crazy games um just to look at for right now but we're gonna start off with the first two nights uh today it's gonna be pretty hectic the best games probably you know, they always start off good games for the beginning of the season, Christmas time, and then, like, a little bit before um, All-Star Weekend. And then, you know, those are, like, the main three phases of the season. There's so many games every week. It's it's a lot of money that's going to be made. NFL is a little different. You got Sundays, mostly games. You only have one day to really win your money. But I like NBA. You got every single day. When NFL, too, you got the, what, Thursday, Sunday, and Monday. So... But NBA, we're going to get right into it, guys. I do like the Bucks. I think there was minus one earlier. Um, I was still going with minus one and a half. Bucks are going to win this game. I think the Nets, Kyrie Irving situation right now is a little distraction. But I do think the Bucks are uh, coming off the championship you know, win. I think they're going to keep going with stride. And I think they are going to start the season off undefeated. Same with the Lakers. Um, I do think they should beat the Warriors by the spread. Don't be surprised. Um, I still don't think Clay is back though, but Steph Curry should be a menace to the Lakers. But Western Westbrook is up to the challenge, and they're definitely going to get things done. The Lakers are definitely just going to start building their chemistry, and we'll see how that plays all plays a role in the season as well. Um, Bucks and Lakers tonight, pretty easy. Um, everyone's going to probably pick the Nets and Lakers. I feel like Bucks are going to win though. Um, let's hop right on down to tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a lot of games, guys. Definitely going to pick. Uh, from one of these, uh, make these bets or whatever game. I do think the Bulls is going to win money line. That's just my man's John and said Bulls, so I'm going to go Bulls. That's the first game I've seen on here. That's what I'm going to go. Um, Cavs and Grizzlies, they don't even have the spreads on here yet, bro. What the freak? All right, it's so low. It's too low early. I don't know why. They should be on here, though. Um, I do have uh, Grizzlies winning. Actually, let's hop on over to the bets as well. Parlay it. Boom. Already signed out. No, I'm not coming into pass me. There we go. Boom. Alright. Um parlay. Let's go hop and look at some of these uh NBA spreads while we can. Boom. Alright, right here. Alright, so these are some of the spreads for the, tomorrow's games. Um we just went over the Bucks and Lakers. Yep, spreads are the same. So um, let's hop right into the first couple games. 7 p.m. tomorrow, Indiana versus Charlotte. Um, I do like LaMelo Ball winning this game. A lot of people probably will pick LaMelo and the Hornets to win. Uh, we're just going to see how the Pacers start off this season. They're not going to be no slouch, though. Don't buy into straight LaMelo, I'm telling you. That's how people lose money. Um, I do have LaMelo winning tomorrow, though. I'm not going to lie. And Bulls, I just said it. Uh, I do think they should win by that spread. Bulls are looking nice. Zach Levine, um, the Rosen. Uh, you got Lonzo now. Should be a more complete team uh, than last season. Wizards versus Toronto. I do think Wizards should win this game. Even though I'm a Wizards fan, I think Toronto. Um, I know Pascal is out and um, Kyle Lowry. So this is a new look. We're going to have to see what Van Fleek will be able to do. I don't know if Spencer Dinwiddie is back yet for Washington, but I do like the signing that Wizards just did with uh, Gafford, tall center. Uh, I liked him last season during some of the games that I did watch, and I do think he has potential to be a, another like Clint Capella type big man running the floor. You need that type of type of body dude, seven footer running the floor, all, both in defense and offense to get back on transition and make it easier for you know your your players. So 
I do have Washington. Uh, I would say money line on that one too. Get a little bit more on your odds. This game is gonna be a close game. Uh, I wouldn't doubt the Knicks winning this game, but I do have Boston. Uh, Boston is a pretty good city. Um, just shout out Jason Tatum. Uh, Kimball Walker is returning back to his first game of the season already. Um, so that's going to be something to look at as well. But I do think with Dennis Schroeder, Celtics are a little bit more of a, a, a better team, honestly. Kimball Walker is a little slouch. People were always, Kimball top five, Kimball top five. Mm. I ain't even going to talk on Kimball right now. He didn't show up in the playoffs, then that's when you got to show up. Like I said, uh, Memphis Grizzlies over Cleveland. They had, I just wanted to show you guys the spreads, man. They was, they was dripping us on the other side. Uh, Grizzlies definitely won. I don't know about the spread, though. Um, I would go money line. Sixers and Pelicans. I do have Sixers winning this game. Even Ben Simmons is out. I think Embiid would probably do some damage. I don't know if Zion is active right now. Uh, I, that's the thing. I got to get right all back into my media covers on the NBA so I can have all the news and highlights and, and everything for you guys. So once I know the information, I'm giving out better projections for you guys because I know everything and who is playing and who is not. Um, I got 76ers, money line. The Houston Rockets versus Timberwolves, I would say Rockets. Um, I'll go plus Rockets. I do like Jalen Green. That young team is definitely vicious. I wouldn't put the Rockets um, in those slouch either. Um, Orlando versus San Antonio, I have Greg Popovich getting his W of the season. Should be an easy dub. I don't know about the matters this year. Um, Utah Jazz is not going to look anything different from last season. They're going to still be great. Probably top four, top five team in the West. Um, they should win this game. They're giving them high spreads already, minus 12. Like, come on, bro. Uh, Sacramento versus Trailblazers. Should be a good game. I wouldn't doubt Kings, you know, pulling it off. But that plus five looking pretty, pretty sweet. I would say Trailblazers money line. It's gonna be a close game. Everyone's gonna pick uh, Damian Lillard, obviously. Um, as well, Denver Nuggets versus Phoenix Suns t uh, tomorrow night at ten. Um, it's the last game to round it off. It's gonna be a close game. No Jamal Murray, I don't think for the year. So we will have to see what Michael Porter does. But I do like Phoenix Suns. They're definitely gonna be top four in the West. They're not gonna be no slums either. They're gonna be competition for the Lakers. Well, uh, this season. Um, they even though they just eliminated him, I think Suns versus Lakers would probably be. Eastern Conference, I mean Western Conference Finals matchup before the finals as well. Um, guys, so that's gonna round it off. We just did the picks for the NBA uh, today and tomorrow. So appreciate you guys again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna do more videos. I have me and my other friend Jonathan tonight. We're gonna be doing the NFL recap on Week Seven and what we learned and discovered, and just you know we're gonna keep doing this podcast keep rolling with more news more highlights more sports bets and just everything that you guys want to keep up with us um like i said nfts are on the way like comment subscribe guys we're on the road to 1k and let's get it